Backflow prevention is a two-way proposition, and your first thought might be, what do you mean by that? Well, to answer, we'll begin with an explanation of the problem. Backflow is the flow of contamination or pollution into the drinking water distribution pipeline. Backflow can be caused by back siphonage or back pressure. Back siphonage is caused by negative or reduced pressure in a water system and occurs during low pressure events such as a line leak. Back pressure is caused when a potable water system is connected to a non-potable supply operating under higher pressure that pushes contaminated liquid back into the public water system. This means that non-drinkable water or other fluids can accidentally get into your drinking water system. This occurs when there is a difference in pressure that forces the unwanted liquids into clean drinking water lines. Cross-connection, which is any actual or potential connection between the public water supply and a source of contamination or pollution, can occur at any connection location residential, commercial, industrial, and agricultural. The public should be aware of the physical interconnections between the drinking water plumbing and potential contaminants. Let's look at some examples of how this might occur. In this illustration, you see a car wash, which is fine until a pump accidentally breaks down. Now, this is no ordinary pump. It is a high pressure pump that normally takes reclaimed wash and rinse water and pumps it into the wash cycle of the car wash. This cycle is not designed to be connected to the potable water supply. The employee at the car wash connects a two inch hose as a stopgap until the pump could be fixed. The pump was quickly repaired and turned on, but they forgot to disconnect the temporary hose. The pump forced the contents of the two reclaimed tanks, 850 gallons, into the drinking water main. It didn't take long before a car wash employee noticed brown soapy water in the restroom. The cross-connected two-inch hose was immediately removed, but not before contaminating an eight-block area. The water mains were flushed and chlorinated by the water department. A reduced pressure principal backflow prevention device was ordered installed on the water service pipe to provide premise isolation. As you can see, back pressure occurs when the pressure of the connected system exceeds the pressure of the drinking water system. A higher pressure could force the water to reverse its normal flow, allowing contamination in the drinking water system. In the second illustration, we'll see a different problem. In this example, a work crew accidentally cuts a water line, while at the same time a farmer, some distance away, is diluting a mixture of herbicides, weed killer, and pesticides with a water hose in a 300-gallon spray tank. The break creates a siphon or vacuum that sucks the chemicals back into the water system through the farmer's hose and very obvious problems for the local utility or water provider. So how can you protect your drinking water? Never leave a hose attached to a faucet that doesn't have a hose bib vacuum breaker or an air gap. Air gap is the safest and simplest way to prevent a cross connection by a physical separation between a potable water source and a potential contamination. In general, the air gap must be twice the supply pipe diameter, but never less than one inch. An air gap is not a device. Rather, it is simply physical space. An air gap may look like this or this. The most common place you see an air gap is in a kitchen and bathroom. Pressure vacuum breakers are designed to prevent back siphonage or water being drawn back into a water supply when the line is closed. These assemblies should not be used to prevent back pressure. The assembly opens to the atmosphere, thus preventing a vacuum in the line. The American Water Works Association recommends all testable backflow preventers be tested annually. And if you have any questions, you can contact your drinking water service provider, state drinking water program, health department, or a professional certified plumber. So as you can see, backflow prevention really is a two-way proposition, with both the water service provider and the water service user sharing important responsibilities. Preventing backflow problems really is everyone's responsibility because safe drinking water is everybody's business.